Thanks a lot for watching another episode of Bayloric TV Boxing. Okay, um, these are my final thoughts, um, real final thoughts on the two fights tonight. First one with Andy Lee and Peter Quillin. Uh, Peter Quillin, from what I've understood, has been uh, pre preparing to act as Roger Mayweather in the up an, an upcoming movie. Uh, why he's doing that, I'm not sure, sure with a big world title fight. So understands now that Quillen has failed the weigh-in. Um, some people have believed he did it deliberately, so he outweighs Andy Lee. Um, I'm not so sure about that. I do know that, in my belief, that if um, this fight is going to be lost, I believe it will be lost in the second half of the fight by Quillen. I'm actually going, I've, I've been thinking this a while, and I, I haven't changed my opinion on it. I believe um, that this fight will be won by power. I believe it's a case of who hits who first. We know Andy Lee's been dropped, he's been down, he's got up. But out of the two fights, he's the more experienced fighter. And uh, Andy Lee's the world champion. It doesn't make a difference now because now, even if Andy Lee loses this fight, he still can go on and defend his title against Billy Joe Saunders. Now, um, I always... It's the left hand for me. If, I'd like to know what Quillen's chin is like against a big puncher. And now Quillen's a puncher himself. But I've never been really that keen on Quillen. I've always found him uh, a limited fighter. But he's probably better uh, technically than Andy Lee. But I think Andy Lee's going to come into his own. I think he's actually going to stop Quillen. I could be wrong there. But um, it's a matter of who hits who first, to be honest, in this fight. The second fight, one I'm really interested in, is Lamont Peterson against Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia, as I've said on many occasions, uh, the left hook is his key punch. He was a very good amateur boxer. Lamont Peterson's a bit up and down, but um, I like Lamont Peterson for this fight. I think so many people have written Lamont Peterson off. I think Lamont Peterson is a better boxer than Danny Garcia. I think that um, actually maybe Danny Garcia may be a bigger puncher. But I think Lamont Peters is the better boxer. Lamont Peterson brings a two-fisted attack and is a pretty good boxer. Um, I think that Garcia is really left-hand dominant, really. Um, if he gets caught, Lamont Peterson with that left hook, of course he could get knocked out. But I always go with a two-handed fight better than one-handed fighter. I think Danny Garcia has got an excellent left hook, like I said. But I think Lamont Peterson can beat him. Um, Garcia is very flat-footed as well. Um, and it's a different proposition to find someone like Lucas Matisse. I said it before and I'll say it again. I think the Lucas Matisse fight took maybe something out on Danny Garcia. I might be wrong, but I always have that feeling about it. And um, I believe that, that Peterson will cause the upset and beat Garcia on points. But if Garcia even lost on points, I believe that they'd give it to Garcia. Because again, I've said in another video, he's the cash cow. So unless Lamont Peterson gets caught with a stupid left hook, I really do believe Lamont Peterson outboxes Danny Garcia. But if it goes to points, and I just think they want to do anything possible for Garcia to get that IBF title. Anything possible. That's what I think. You know, if Lamont Peterson loses this fight, they're going to take the title off of him. I don't get it, I don't understand. But yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Lamont Peterson in this one. I like Danny Garcia, I just think Lamont's a better boxer. Love to know what you guys think. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Take care.